Well, welcome back, everyone. You know, August is National Breastfeeding Month here in the United States. And here to talk about that is Lori Nestor. So welcome, Lori. Thank you for having me on. My right, pleasure. All right. So tell us all about this. Well, um, around the world, uh, the first week of August is World Breastfeeding Week. And so no matter where you are, you can find uh, things happening that are celebrating breastfeeding and the importance of breastfeeding pretty much anywhere you go in the world. In the United States, they decided to, to declare um, the whole month of August as National Breastfeeding Month, since August can be kind of a busy month in many of our lives with uh, getting back to school or still wrapping up vacations or things happening. And so we've, we kind of designate that whole month and the Ohio Department of Health and the governor has issued a proclamation and designated it as well. Um, we will have a proclamation issued here locally by the mayor, that's been a longstanding tradition. And at the WIC office, we always try to find some ways to highlight breastfeeding during the month of, month of August, although we talk breastfeeding all year round. So we're happy to um, come to events or do things no matter what month it is. But um, August is a good, good month to give it a highlight and just remind people of the, the importance of supporting breastfeeding. So, Lori, with, with this Breastfeeding Month, um, designated as Breastfeeding Month, uh, is there more information that people can find, or how do they go about finding information about it? Sure. Um, so the theme this year is Closing the Gap, uh, Breastfeeding Support for All. And that just highlights the need to have it be a, a you know, a multi factored approach. So it's not just through your doctor's office or the WIC program or the hospital, um, which all of those should be sources for breastfeeding information. Um, we're also um, through the Ohio Department of Health, we have a program that has resources for businesses. So that if you have, um, you know, parents that are trying to navigate their um, parental leave and then coming back to work and figuring out how to pump or um, be able to, you know, get to breastfeed their baby while they're working. I know a lot of people are doing remote working and that whole environment has changed in the last handful of years. Um, there is a program for child care providers to um, kind of go through some training and make sure their policies are set up and supportive of um, parents who are bringing in breast milk for their children. Um, the WIC program has avail information available um, both for families before they have their babies as well as support after they have their babies. Um, and then a couple of other sources, um, Ohio does have a breastfeeding hotline. So if there are like immediate questions, it's a 24 hour hotline. So often when other things are closed, um, the number for that is 1-888-588-3423. And you can uh, talk to somebody, figure out what your questions are or what the, what the issue is that you're having. And then they will also help you connect to local resources um, if those are available where you live. So the other resource is the Ohio Breastfeeding Alliance um, State Breastfeeding Coalition. There is a breastfeeding services um, kind of a database where you can find your space on a map and see what is around you and connect to that. And if we have employers who are interested in um, applying for the workplace award through the Ohio Department of Health or child care providers that want the recognition, um, you know, we can help them um, navigate that process as well. So. Hopefully then everybody will, you know, find the resources they need. Um, and we also like just remind people that breastfeeding in public or, you know, you know, if you're at a business or a restaurant or wherever you are, that it is okay to breastfeed where you are. And if you need help finding a more private space, hopefully staff can help you. And, um, you know, I'm available and people at the WIC office are available to help think through ideas for that as well. All right, so lots of resources there for, for lots of knowledge in case there's any questions from business to the general public and so on, right? Absolutely. Oh. And sometimes, sometimes you don't know what it is you need or what you're looking for. So, you know, if you kind of make a call or, um, you know, find a reputable source on the Internet, um, hopefully you can get some, some connections to where, um, you know, information might be that would help what you need. All right. Well, Lori, I want to thank you for coming in today and sharing your knowledge. It's uh, very appreciative. Absolutely. Thank you for making this space available. All right. My pleasure. All right. Well, don't go away because we have more than we return.